In this lecture, we will discuss noevenagel condensation. This is a modified aldol condensation in which enolate is formed on active methylene compound. The reaction of aldehydes, usually not having alpha hydrogen and ketone with active methylene compounds in the presence of weak basic catalyst to form alpha, beta unsaturated dicarbonyl or related compound is called noevenagel reaction. Consider for example this reaction of carbonyl, be it aldehyde or ketone, with methylene which is bonded with two electron withdrawing groups denoted by Z. In the presence of basic catalyst, these condense to form unsaturated compound with the loss of water molecule. Some features of this reaction are Typical examples of active methylene compounds are malonic ester, acetoacetic ester, melanonitrile, etc. The byproduct of this reaction is water and its removal from reaction mixture shifts the equilibrium to product side. The dicarbonyl product can be hydrolyzed and decarboxylated to afford the corresponding alpha-beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds. The basic catalyst used is ammonia or its derivatives, for example, primary, secondary or tertiary amines like aniline, D or trialkyamines, pyridine or piperidine. As an example, consider the reaction between benzaldehyde and active methylene compound. In the presence of basic catalyst, these condense to form alpha-beta unsaturated carbonyl compound with the loss of water molecule. This is subjected to hydrolysis so that ester groups are converted into carboxylic acids. This 1,3-dicarboxylic compound can be decarboxylated upon heating to form alpha-beta unsaturated carboxylic acid. Overall in the presence of basic catalysts, during condensation, a water molecule is lost to form alpha-beta unsaturated dicarbonyl compound, which is subjected to hydrolysis, so that ester groups are hydrolyzed to acid groups, forming 1,3-dicarboxylic acid. This upon heating loses a carbon dioxide molecule to form alpha-beta unsaturated acid. Mechanism of this reaction is simple. Weak base abstracts a proton from active methylene compound to form carbanion or enolate. This enolate is stabilized by two strong electron withdrawing groups. The carbanion or enolate attacks the carbonyl compound such as benzaldehyde in this case to form alkoxide type compound. This then abstracts a proton from protonated base to form beta hydroxy compound just like an aldol reaction. This beta hydroxy compound upon heating loses a molecule of water to form alpha beta unsaturated dicarbonyl compound, which upon hydrolysis forms alpha beta unsaturated 1,3 dicarboxylic acid. 1,3-dicarboxylic compound as usual upon heating loses a molecule of carbon dioxide to form alpha-beta unsaturated carboxylic acid. One can easily observe that this part comes from the active methylene compound, whereas this part comes from aldehyde. The mechanism of decarboxylation upon heating can be easily shown if we write the 1,3-dicarboxylic acid in this cyclic form. Decarboxylation follows a concerted mechanism with a cyclic transition state where the CC bond breaks at the same time that the OH and CC pi bonds are formed. It happens all at once with no charged intermediates. An enol is formed as an intermediate. The enol then undergoes ketoenol tautomerism to give us the carboxylic acid. In the same way, a beta keto acid loses a molecule of carbon dioxide upon heating to form enol form of ketone. The enol form quickly tautomerizes to more stable keto form. Let us do some problems on this reaction. In the first case acetaldehyde is treated with active methylene compound in the presence of base piperidine. 
The two molecules will condense with loss of water molecule to form alpha-beta unsaturated dicarbonyl compound. This upon hydrolysis will change esters into carboxylic acid groups. The 1,3-dicarboxylic acid upon heating will be decarboxylated to form alpha-beta unsaturated carboxylic acid. Remember that presence of highly reactive methylene compound prevents self-condensation of the aldehyde if it has alpha hydrogen. In the second case, we can write the product of noevenagel condensation in similar way. The dicarbonyl compound upon hydrolysis and heating loses a carbon dioxide molecule to form alpha-beta unsaturated carboxylic acid product. In the third example, we can write the product directly, that is, alpha-beta unsaturated carboxylic acid. In the case of fourth example, the benzaldehyde condenses with acetoacetic ester in the presence of base to form alpha-beta unsaturated dicarbonyl compound. The hydrolysis in the next step changes only ester group into carboxylic acid. Keto group doesn't hydrolyze into acid. The result is beta-keto acid, which upon heating loses a carbon dioxide molecule to form alpha-beta unsaturated ketone. Remember that, this part comes from aldehyde, whereas this part, comes from active methylene compound, acetoacetic ester, in this case. In the fifth example, benzaldehyde condenses with nitromethane in the presence of base to form unsaturated nitro product. Since no ester or any other acid derivative group is linked to active methylene compound, so hydrolysis and decarboxylation is not needed. Ketones being less reactive than aldehydes must be condensed with powerful active methylene compounds. Rest of the mechanism is similar as with aldehydes. For example, acetone reacts with this active methylene compound flanked by strong electron withdrawing nitro group on one side to form alpha-beta unsaturated compound which upon hydrolysis and heating loses a carbon dioxide molecule to form alpha-beta unsaturated acid as product.